In a distant city, a strong and brave pitbull named Nijirino. The Nijirino was known for his skill in combat and his unwavering determination. Everyone admired him for his strength and courage. The Nijirino has faced many challenges throughout his life, but he has always emerged victorious. He was a true champion, a fearless warrior who never gave up. And that's the story of how the Nijirino became the greatest combat champion of all time. Follow this exciting story of Nijirino, the great champion pitbull in dogfighting. Result of ELI Jr., a dog, five times winner, combat. The Nijirino represents one of the purest bloods of the ELI Jr. It's a highly respected bloodline in its own right. What makes dogs of the ELI lineage so popular is that they are powerfully built dogs with devastating mouths. They consistently instill this trait in their children. One of the best crosses made with the ELI strain was with the Snooty Rom dog. Snooty was an extremely intelligent dog who added the highly desirable traits of intelligence and style. Dogs of the ELI lineage tended to be noisy dogs, and this led to shortness of breath. Crossing with Snooty corrected this problem without sacrificing the highly desirable ELI traits. Probably the best known dog from this cross was the four-time winning champion Chinaman Rom. The Chinaman had it all, and subsequently produced a lineage of superior dogs. Chinaman dogs, consistently cast, intelligent, powerful, hunting dogs, all with lots of mouths, are literally a complete package. These dogs have the true quality of a fast-track dog. They continue to make an ongoing impact in today's sporting era. It would be impossible to list all the quality dogs that came directly or indirectly from Eli Jr., Bully Son, or the female Brandy. Because, its impact on the sport, continues to this day. There are literally hundreds of famous dogs that owe their success to the ELI dog lineage and its breeder, Floyd Boudreaux. And it would be necessary, a list, to name all the accomplishments, of all of them. Nijirino, was born in July 1979, son of Wolfman, Jackson, who is the son of ELI Jr. He is a grandson of Bulison, crossed with Lella, of Hathaway, daughter of Grande Champion Art, and great-granddaughter of ELI Jr. She is Bolita's litter sister. There was a condition, that Bolita, would be crossed with her father, Wolfman. For some reason, this crossover was not made. When Bolita came into heat, she was crossed with Pancho, by Cates, who was a son of Stampinato, crossed with a daughter, from the cross of Bulison, with Missy, by Art. Some time later, both Bolita and Nijirino were stolen from Sam Cates' backyard. The story goes that the creator of Nijirino and Bolita, who had the dog stolen. He says that supposedly, because he thought the agreement between the dogs had been breached. Cates found Nijirino in another Texas dogman's backyard and recovered. Bolita's two puppies, Leo and Miss Kitty, were returned to him, but he was unable to retrieve Bolita. It was rumored that she had been sold to another dogman. This whole situation started a big feud. For all parties involved, and it lasted for several years. The first match of the Nijirino, took place in the south of Texas, against A.L. Capone of the Placebo with 16 kilos, the referee was the Granger. Nijirino attacked in the head, and in the chest. A.L. Capone, was removed from the fight, at 37 minutes. This fight was part of a five-match convention, and Nijirino, won the best in show. For his second fight, he was conditioned, and controlled, 
by Oklahoma Shorty. His opponent was Maddox Louie, he won once, in a fight, with more than two hours. The referee was Bobby Smith. Louie did a good job holding the Nigerino. But the Nigerino attacks in the chest, and in the knee. In an hour and twenty minutes, Louis heard the count, in the corner, and did not return to the fight. The Nigerino, was once again awarded as the title, of best in show, and received a trophy. His third opponent, weighing 16 kilos, was against another winning dog, in a two-hour fight, Chow Brindle, from McMillian. This fight was refereed by Celso. Nigerino, was in front the whole time, and scratched to win, in 37 minutes, of co-mate. Thus the Nigerino, conquered his title of champion. The fourth fight was against a group from California, they called themselves Black Attack, the weight was 16 and a half kilos, and the referee was Morgan. Nigerino's opponent, Ranger Daguerre, was eliminated in his corner, at the 37th minute of the fight. Nigerino's son, Samson, won the same night, in less than 30 minutes of combat. Three years later, when the Nigerino was seven years old, he won his fifth fight. The weight was 16 and a half kilos, and the referee was Del Garza. The referee of the fourth fight, Morgan, had a dog, a strong biter, who attacked in the head, he was called Rowdy. He thought this dog could beat Nigerino. Rowdy was a very talented winner. He is the result of crossing champion Tonka with Bolio. He managed to hold Nigerino, in the first 10 minutes, but with Nigerino leading. The Nigerino attacked on the nose, from Rowdy, then he attacked on the chest, and then he attacked on the rear, several times. Rowdy was crying at the 30 minute mark of the fight. Morgan removed Rowdy from the fight at 37 minutes. Nigerino is a great champion, combat. A few months later, Nigerino died of unknown causes, in Mr. Kate's backyard. Because of the previous incidents, there was some speculation that Nigerino had been poisoned. But, nobody knew, if his death was due to natural causes, or criminal. Nigerino, the pit bull of the Eli lineage, became a great champion in combat with five victories. He fought valiantly, and showed his strength and skill in every fight. At the end of his history, the Nigerino was recognized as one of the best fighters of his race, and was honored for his courage and determination. Nigerino left a lasting legacy, as a true, great champion. My name is Rodolfo Luis, write which dog you want to know the story, I will bring it to you.